Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and today I'm building an OU team around Crocodile, then I will be testing it out on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. So, I think Crocodile is very good just because of Taunt plus Arox being able to win Hazard game a lot of the time, and I have enough speed for Jolly Excadrill, so we can outspeed that. A lot of attack and then the rest in HP. We of course have Dual Stab. I tried to fit Toxic somewhere on the set, so that way we can help cripple Mandibuzz, but I couldn't find where I could put it right here. I definitely wanted the Dual Stab, and... Taunt is also very useful in situations where you can, like, prevent a Chansey from recovering with Soft World and whatnot, so I definitely wanted that as well, but now we need a really good way to threaten Mandibuzz, and I figured a fun way to do that would be by running Choice Specs Curum, which as you can see is in Yu right now, but I think even though there's a lot of faster Pokemon than Curum that can offensively pressure it in the tier right now, Cinderace or Shifu is Zeroora, for example, I think that we can still... Take advantage of Kyurem's speed tier against slower threats like Rotom Heat, Mandibuzz, and just Pokemon like that. So let's run Choice Specs, and we can easily defensively deal with those other things, right? Like, we have the Choppel Bay right here to already lure Zeroora. I'm definitely going to add a Cinderace check somewhere on the team, and Urshifu is obviously a problem too, as well as Fairies, but we can figure out a defensive response for those as well. First right here, I think we definitely need Freeze Dry, Ice Beam... Draco and Earth Power, that is the best Kyurem set. I'm hoping I can show off why Kyurem is still good, so let's run 4 and Spadef and move on. So we have a good physical special split going on. The speed tiers are kind of similar, but we can definitely work that out as well. I did mention we have a double fairy weakness going on, and that's not the best. If I want a fairy resist, I could run Talonflame as a more offensive option, or... Maybe like a Drill or Pharaoh, or even like my own Assault Vest Magirna for a more defensive option. Hmm. I kind of like the AV Mag idea because it's really the best way to take on opposing setup mag from what I've seen. I've lost a setup mag in my last two videos. Like, I've lost one game in each of those videos and both of them were to setup mag and I'm kind of sick of it. So I'm just going to run Assault Vest Mag of my own and make sure I don't lose to any opposing Magirnas ideally today. I run Iron Head, so that way if they call mind up, we can hit them as hard as possible. And then we run Flare Cannon, Volt Switch, and Focus Blast is good right here because it's able to pressure Ferrothorn, which Crocodile hates, and a lot of Ferrothorns are actually running more Spadef right now, meaning Kira might not be able to outright 2 it KO it, so we definitely want to weaken it as much as possible using Focus Blast right out the gate, so let's run Max Spadef, and I'm gonna go minus speed because there's really no point in running the speed, and I do have Iron Head as a physical attack, so I can't really subtract from my own attack stat right here. It would actually make a significant difference when trying to 1v1 opposing Magirna, but... Now we have all that going on, but I don't have a ground immunity, and I do have a ground weak Pokemon right here. A better water resist would also be nice, but I don't think that should be the priority right now. I think what I should focus on is maybe adding a Volcarona check, because... Right now the team would get 6 0 by Volcarona at plus 1. Yeah, that's a problem, I think. Ground immunity, Volcarona check, Talonflame is easily the choice there. I think I don't overthink it, I think I just go Talon. Like, Talonflame is so good on this team right now, there's no reason not to have Talonflame. Let's go Adamant, and we'll go Heavy Duty Boots, of course, with... I don't have Hazard Control yet. I think I might add a Defogger later, and maybe I can run Roost on this. Let's see, let's go Swords Dance. Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, and I'm going to leave it as Defog right now, because I think I definitely want at least one Defogger for Kyurem. If I add another one, though, then I can maybe make this Roost, but yeah, we'll put the 4 in HP and move on. So, the team is really weak to opposing Rotom Heat, is what I'm noticing. We kind of have our speed tier situation figured out, because Talonflame provides us with something really fast, but something faster than Zara would be great. Something that can check Rotom Heat and is faster than Zara. Hmm. So Zara of my own would probably be the way to go, but I want something else. Zara, I've run that recently, and to be fair, I've also run Talonflame recently, but this team in particular needs Talonflame. I don't think it needs Zara. What could I run? Let's look at Yu I feel like I've been using so many OU mods recently. Let's see what else. That's actually not true at all. I've been running stuff like X-Blood, Heracross, and Caldeo, but I don't know. I still want to run something fun. I could scarf my own Rotom Wash and run like Timid. Actually, that doesn't sound horrible. It checks Zara with the speed tier. It checks 
Rotom Heat, obviously, because it's a Rotom Wash, and I could run Trick on it and also make it another Defogger. That has everything I need on this team. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> Forget anything else. I'm going to make it fully offensive, too. I could put more HP to help take on Rotom Heat better, but I think we should be fine. Yeah, we're going to go Scarf right here with Hydra Pump, Volt Switch, Trick, and... I have Defog. Is this Defogger enough to make Talonflame not Defog, though? Because if I don't trick it, my only Defogger is going to be Choice Locked, which could be really bad news for Kyurem, if Kyurem is the win con. So I think we're going to keep it with double Defog right here. I think that might end up helping us save a game or whatnot. So now I guess we just have to figure out what we do at this point. We have all the speed tier as I want now. We have something that would speed Zara. We have a good Dragapult check and Magirna of our own. Even Crocodile can take on physical Dragapult, so... That's very good. Hmm. One slot left. Something more defensive would be very good. What would I outright lose to? Mimikyu would beat this team down, but I haven't seen that. Hmm. I think... Why is Mimikyu the only thing that my team is weak to anymore? <laughs> like, I actually think I covered everything just with the team so far. We have defensive checks and offensive ways to revenge like the entire tier right now. I guess Alolan Marowak could be a bit annoying too if it gets in on like Magirna for instance, but we have four good ways to revenge that right here, so am I really too worried? I think I still should be. So Mimikyu and Alolan Marowak. I don't want to add Toxitex, but that's actually the Pokemon to add right now, looking at those two. Let's just do it. Uh, I hate to do it, but I'm going to run Toxitex today. We're going to go Black Sludge and run Regenerator with Scald, Recover... Toxic and I guess Haze. Like, this could also be a lot to Jeffert against Opposing Mag if my own Mag and Talonflame can't deal with it, but I don't know. I feel like they will. Let's go max defense for and spit death. Run minus. I guess attack. It doesn't really matter, right? And I believe as long as our abilities are correct, that will be the team. So let's go ahead and get a game. All right, I have a game right now. My opponent has a Sun team. I actually don't think this will be that hard. I think that by leading off with the Rotom, I can vault out on Torkoal immediately. If he does lead off with the Cinderace... If he goes out into Blissey right here on a hard switch, what I can do is respond with either Crocodile or Pex after. So let's go for the Hydra Pump, as he opted to not make that play. I'm guessing he went for the U-turn, expecting me to not be Scarf. But uh, that's not going to work out for him, obviously. He knows I'm Scarf now. But I still have my Trick for later, which can really help me cripple... Ideally Blissey, but even Corviknight would be okay, because that would help out Kyurem. So out comes Torkoal. Now, the thing is, this could go for a Solar Beam here. I kind of just want to get in Pex and click Toxic, if I'm being honest. It also covers Venusaur, because I can Haze Spam. And I still have my Gale Wings if I need it, but... Talonflame is probably winning the game here, so I don't want to rely on that. Let's make the Pex play. As he is going to double to Venus, so I figured this would be the option, and... If he is Growth plus Earth Power, I'm assuming I die. That should be pretty obvious. I think I'm just going to haste spam until I am either dead or the sun is gone. Like, I don't need Pex right here, I just want to stall these sun turns. Yeah, okay, good. And now I think that we have that figured out. I'm going to go Magirna this turn. He actually clicked Growth again, okay. The thing is, I shouldn't die to plus two Weather Ball. I am a Magirna with the Salt Vest after all. Wow, okay, never mind. I really thought I would live, but it doesn't make a difference. I still get in Talonflame and I can do what I need to here. Let's go ahead and hit him with the Gale Wings Boosted Brave Bird. And there isn't really another play right here. I have to do this. I don't think Hiram would live plus two Sludge Bomb, so he does go back to Torkoal. Gale Wings is gone, but I was able to force out the plus two Venusaur, which I think is probably the more important thing. <laughs> Let's just D up and see how much work I can get done right now. Goes hard Blissey. I guess he wants to take have me take a lot of recoil here. Thing is, you're going to get O-Code and I think I'll still be alive. Yeah, I'm still here. So now you sack Torkoal and then it's a double down. Problem with that is you lose your son, so... Do I... No, I should attack. He's going to double down with the Venusaur, okay. Thing is, I have Scarf Rotom here, so I can't lose to Charizard, I don't think. I can, in fact, I'm just going to go to Rotom now and Volt out. 
He goes to Corviknight, so I have to keep the Scarf, which is the thing about this. So I'm gonna Volt out into my Tox Specs. That did so much, wow. Is he's gonna go for the U-turn. I don't even think Charizard can kill me, so... We'll see what he wants to do. Like, if I Toxic it right here, it should be over. Yeah, so I think I win now. Luck no matter what. Um, I'll give it to him, get in Rotom, click Volt Switch, and... We should be fine. I'm hoping so, at least. I mean, Charizard's taking Toxic Damage and Weather Ball. Recoil, cool. yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I have another game right now. This is the team Joey used in Road to Top 10 today. Thing is, I know what this team does, and I'm gonna lead off with Crocodile. He would go for Taunt. I, I know this runs Taunt, I saw the video. It doesn't have a Cell Rock, that's close combat. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. And now that he is going to be clicking Stealth Rocks, I'm gonna go for Knock Off here. And knock it out, okay, good. Like, I could have gone for Rocks, but there was no point. I, don't, I didn't think he would let me get them up. Now he could go with Togekiss if he wants. I don't actually remember what the Togekiss was. I know Magirna was Calm Mind, Shift Gear, Pain Split. No, not Pain Split. Stored Power, Draining Kiss. It is going to be Togekiss, which I don't like, necessarily. Thing is, because my Rotom is fully offensive, it doesn't take a plus two Cloister hit. So I kind of want to use that here and keep Magirna around just to beat his Magirna. I definitely don't want to lose my abilities. Let's go Rotom. And I'm going to go for the Volt, I think into Kiram. Kiram is probably the play here. I can lock... What do I want to lock? Because if I lock Ice Beam, I kind of give him the freest thing ever with Cloyster. I do have Fizz Def Packs, but... I don't want to get flinched. I'm pretty sure it was King's Rock. I can't remember completely. Hmm, what's the best play? I think Kiram is the best play, but I don't want to get careless. Yeah, I have to keep Talonflame for Scallopede and whatnot. We're gonna make the Kirin play here as he goes for a Nasty Plot. Thing is, that's really not gonna do much for you when I have this Mon on the field. Let's go right for... I wanna click Freeze Dry to prevent the Cloyster from setting up, but then I also just invite in Magirna, which to be fair isn't as big of a problem, so... I'm gonna go for Freeze Dry. We actually get a Freeze into Grim Snarl. Kind of a yikes. I do feel bad about that. In fact, I'm gonna stay in because... I don't really have a reason to switch this out. It's already in range of all, his, of all of his offensive guys when I come back in on rocks again. So we prevent screens in a really bad manner, but um, it worked out for us, obviously. I go Magirna here, I think. Or I could attack first. Or I could just try to trick it. <laughs> I don't need Rotom anymore. Yeah, he goes for that. I'm going to trick here. As he's locked into Calm Mind now. Perfect. So which means I get the momentum. I don't know, I kind of wish I didn't get the freeze because I want to show how I could win this game without it, but, I mean, it is what it is. Does he have a way to not continue clicking Calm Mind? Because if you don't, then I don't know what you're doing here, dude. Yeah, like, what's your plan? <laughs> I'm gonna get up rocks now. <laughs> then go for Earthquake and kill it, okay. Now we broke the Cloister's potential sash, if that is what the item is here. I'm making the Kirim play. At this time I can just lock Freeze Dry, no questions asked. It's literally just Cloyster, that's what he's gonna try to win with, and that's what I have to prevent him from winning with. So I'd lock Freeze Dry here to make sure that the Cloyster can't set up on Kirim. He has to go Scullopede and Megahorn, which should knock me out, but he's gonna try Cloyster, which isn't the play. Yeah, he should have gone Scullopede and clicked Megahorn, dude, I don't know what that was, but... Yeah, this isn't living, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right now. My opponent has a hyper offense team as well here. I definitely want to watch out for a few Pokemon, and those are Volcarona, which I can beat using Rotom's Trick and Talonflame. I think he has two bugs, so how do I deal with the other one if I use a Volcarona? I mean, Talonflame for that one. Because it's gonna have Megahorn. Maybe Pex can take it on, but it probably has Earthquake too. I don't know, we'll figure it out, I think. I, I don't know what to do here, I think. I keep Rotom healthy for Azu, but Kiram can beat that as well. We're gonna lead off with Crook. And I think the best play first is to go for Knock. If he final Gambits immediately, I think I'll take that trade for sure. Like, that would be fine. But I think he's gonna go for Spikes. Yeah, a lot of setup Pokemon here. I think I need to... 
Talonflame is just key. That's that's a given. Like Talonflame is going to revenge multiple of these guys. So he does have to take the double down, which I did mention is cool with me because while Hazard's being on his field would have been nice, there's none on my field now. Meaning Hiram gets to stay healthy and take on Azu almost no matter what. He's going to go to Shifu here. Yeah, that's what I would do. So with that in mind, I'm going to go to this. Actually, go Porygon. Well, I have two plays. I can go Mag or I could Toxic. I think Mag is better. What did you trick me? A choice item? Okay, sure. I get a Volt at least, and that Volt is going to be into Kyurem if he gives it to me for free. I'm really, really worried about the Volcarona. Okay, it doesn't hacks me there. So there's actually two plays. I think this is the best one to make. Yeah, I just click Ice Beam. I'm assuming he's just going to let me... Oh, wait, it's Assault Vest now. Do I have to Draco? Kind of forgot he took my item, if I'm being honest. Um, I do have to Draco to kill it, because at minus one, Draco should still do enough. 86 to 102, he is at 81. Yeah, I have to Draco it there, because I tr he took my Assault Vest, unfortunately. <laughs> kind of a yikes, but he's probably going to go Volcarona now and try to win with that. I guess you could go with Shifu if you really want to. Do I bother keeping Choice Locked Mag? He goes um, Azu, which I don't think makes a ton of sense. Thing is, do I take this hit with Rotom or go Pex and try to... Is Pex live even plus 6 knockoff? I doubt it, and I kind of want to keep it around anyway. Yeah, he goes for that. I'm just going to Volt out here. It might, honestly might just knock him out. Like, it's pretty strong. Ah, it didn't. Okay, that makes this a bit tougher. I think I sack off this for sure. Now he's going to get the plus 6 Aqua Jet something too, which I didn't want. Wait a minute, if I just go Talonflame now, could I Brave Bird and win? Um, no, because he still has Sucker Punch, meaning I think the best thing to do is use this first and keep the Gale Wings intact to Volt out here and then bring out Talonflame. And I think by doing that, I should be okay. He goes for Jet. It does a lot, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That did way more than I would have liked. But... I think we're okay anyway, because... Well, no, there's one thing I want to check before going Talonflame. Can I Oko and Urshifu with Brave Bird? <laughs> because if I can't, then I'm going to lose my Talonflame and probably end up losing this. So, let's see. I can't guaranteed kill. So, here's what we're doing then. We're going Pex here. <sighs> Problem is... No, Skullipede isn't a threat. I think... If I burn Skullipede, that's obviously great, but... I don't want to go hard Talonflame on it. Okay, this is what I was hoping for. It's bulk up, but like... I'm going to Toxic it here. I could somewhat take that. I can't really take it, but I can kind of. So I think I suck off Rotom here, then get in Talonflame and knock it out. And then I can Brave Bird the other two. 44 should easily be enough, because this is doing 92, and at minus 2, that's 46. I don't think these are any bulk, so yeah, we're going to make the Talon Flame play now, and I think it just wins the game. I out-prioritize Sucker Punch, so I don't have to care about that. As long as this can kill... I could switch out, then come back in to be a bit safer, but I don't want him Drain Punching. Nah, dude, Brave Bird kills. It says it. Yeah, 46 men. That's minus 2, plus 2 Adamant. Okay. Yeah, I kill it, and then I don't think these guys can revenge me. Okay, so that should be game here. Double bug is all he has left. I don't know if this actually runs a rock move, but even then I think I can beat the other guys. It's also adamant, so my talent flame is outspeeding it, and yeah. That's going to be the win for us. Okay, so I will be right back. Oh lord, I have another game right here. My opponent has some cool mons like Vile Plume and... <laughs> Zoroark. Thing is, I think Crocodile can anti-lead most of his team. It deals with Zoroark, even if I don't know that it is Zoroark. And I don't know what I would, I would do against Mag, but let's lead Crook. I don't know if this is... Um... Oh, wait a minute. If it was Weezing and it had Neutralizing Gas, I wouldn't get the Intimidate. Thing is, if he's Levitate, then, I'd... then he could be a Weezing, but I think he has Neutralizing Gas, and this is a Zorark in front of me, so I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. It is very much a Weezing. <laughs> okay, let's go for Earthquake here. Oh, wait a minute, that means that... 
That means it's levitate. What am I doing? Um, let's go for knock. I got rid of a citrus berry, which I just find odd and strange. <laughs> I'm going to go for toxic. I mean taunt. And then get this in. Uh, I don't know what to do because I have damage on this, which is good for talon flame. But I need to SD up in front of something. I think I might be able to do it in front of Magina now. Either way, right here. I do want to go for Scald. Can I burn this? That would be amazing for Kyrim. I'm not able to. I do have my mag here. I don't think this runs a Volt. With for Iron Defense, that's that's fine. <laughs> Actually, is that fine? Because I have Iron Head. It's Volt out. I have to trick it. Like, there's no other way to beat this right here. I have to trick it. Okay, he lets me trick it instead of going Vile Plume, which made, like, no sense whatsoever, but we take those. Could this be my SD fodder right now? I don't think I should go hard into Talonflame, especially since I don't have a Roost. Um, the best play is Pex. Yeah, and just spam Scald until I get to either burn somebody or he... I hope he goes Vile Plume, but... Oh, he goes hard Cinderace. Do you have Court Change on this? That's the only reason you would bring this in on a hard switch, right? Court change? Yeah. Okay, well that's tricky. I do have boots on Talonflame. I really need Talonflame to win, in case you can't tell. That's going to be a vital part of this game plan. Can I Can I just get a burn on Vileplume? Like, I already couldn't burn Magirna. I couldn't burn this. Still can't burn. Okay, fine. Fair enough. <laughs> that's how it is. He's going to put somebody to sleep here, right? Just let it be this mon. Um, okay, well, we have mag tricked, meaning I think I might be able to afford using my mag to vault out here. And if he puts me to sleep, that's fine. Hmm. Strange theme, toxic spikes, I'm, I think it's safe to assume this would have sludge bomb too. I think I do iron head here, that's not going to do damage, and I'm going to do a good amount. Yeah, that did a lot. Now I think I vault out and hope he switches. Yeah, he does. And this is going to give me Kyrim. And with Mag locked into whatever it's clicking, I think this is a very good situation for me. Especially with Cinderace too low on top of that. Let's go for the Ice Beam. He's gonna go Mag, but I can't Earth Power and risk getting, like, Spored here or Sleep Powdered. It, it's not worth my Kyrim. Like, this is okay. Because it's Choice Locked, I don't have much to worry about right now. I can go in, out into my Magirna and try to take it on. I just wonder what the last move is. Is it Stored Power? Or is it Shift Gear Draining Kiss? Shift Gear would be really weird. This is the Zorark, obviously. <laughs> yeah, okay. Meaning, um, I'm just gonna click... Flare Cannon, yeah. <laughs> so obviously the Zorark, dude. I did like 60% to your wheezing earlier. Thing is, even though you're at plus two, you don't knock out Magirna with a Flamethrower, I wanna say, so... Yeah, I'm able to not Volt out there. I do get burned, which is whatever, I don't care. And, um... With wheezing so low, the Windcon is still Talon Flame. I'm just trying to bait out that Gera. <laughs> Which I can't seem to do. Let's make the Rotom play and try to force out a Vile Plume. I think that's what this would accomplish. I guess he could go out into his Magirna if he wants to, but no, he goes a Vile Plume. Figured this would be the play here. I'm gonna Volt out into Magirna. And I, I guess just Iron Head. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get in Kirim, obviously. That's the goal here. With Magirna at 61, honestly, if I just weaken Magirna, Kyrim could win too, so maybe I should prioritize Strength to Defog. Nah, let's go Kyrim now and force a KO. I think that's the best option, because I'll probably end up knocking out Magna, which, by the way, shouldn't outspeed me, right? I don't think that bulky of a Magirna set would actually take me on. Also, I'm pretty sure he just threw the game by sacking the one Pokemon that's faster than me. Like, what? <laughs> so do you go Gara now, or like, what was the plan here? No, he's still going mag. <laughs> so I'm going to go out into my Toxapex. Just a drain kiss. Yeah, sure, dude, whatever. <laughs> that was an interesting decision, but I'm going to Scald now. This could be sub, so I think the best first play is Erotum. No, but if he Dragon Dances and I don't get... I can't Toxic, right? I think I just go Erotum and hope he's not Power Whip. Don't be Power Whip, dude. Nobody runs that anymore. I'm totally regretting this dude. He has power up, yeah. Uh, 
Man, I should have just toxic then. That would have been such a good maneuver. Anyway, do you have... Oh, that's the wrong move. Yeah, he has Earthquake too. Oh, I lived it. Meaning all I have to do is haste spam and then try to beat him with Tal cure him. Okay, I see what I have to do here. Yeah. In fact, I think it's a guaranteed win somewhat. Dude, Toxic living right there is huge. I should have just gone for the Toxic, but if he was sub DD, it was totally over. That's the problem. Like, sub DD would have ended it. So now I go to you, click Freeze Dry. That'll force out Mag to Draining Kiss, and then I use the opportunity there to SD up with Talon Flame. I still could get Effect Spored and lose this game, I think. That is Moxie, so it can't stop my sweep. He has to go Mag. And the Lock Draining Kiss. And it's gonna come down to, I don't know what that play was, but it still comes down to whether or not I get hacked by Vileplume. Unless I switched, because I do come back in. I guess that's the best play. Yeah, he goes for Draining Kiss. Now I just click Flare Blitz here. Oh, that didn't kill Magirna at all, huh? Well, it's fine, because I kept Kyurem for this Vile Plume, dude. That Gyarados was so scary. <laughs> like, I was actually worried about the state of this game after outplaying him the entire time. I would have been actually a bit sad if I lost, but it looks like Talon Flame wraps this up. These Pokemon are bulky, geez. Like, that's... That's insane. I don't think this has a way to kill Kyurem, right? Um, if he has a way to out-prioritize me right here, I'm gonna be kind of upset, but... I, I in theory, I'm fine. <laughs> I, I don't think there's a way he can do anything. I do have the correct HP stat, so GG. I will be right back. Alright, I have our next game right here. My opponent is very weak to Ice Beam spam from Kyurem, but... I'm a bit worried about his Kyurem, as well as the Sand Core here. Thing is, I do have a Rotom Wash, and it shouldn't be Mold Breaker. I'm going to lead off with my Rotom, because if he leads Kyurem, I can Volt out. If he leads Pharaoh, that's fine, too. He ends up leading off with Tyranitar. So I don't want to get Banded Stone Edged, obviously, so I think I'm going to Volt. So he goes Pharaoh. Hmm. Talonflame totally invites in a Hippo. Whatever, dude. We're going to play it aggressively. I'm going to double right into Kyurem on that Hippo and try to force a KO. Yeah, I think I kind of have to this game because... I can't let him get the offense here. Like, if he stayed in, that would have been bad. Don't get me wrong. But now it should get to it KO'd. Easily. Okay, good. Yeah, this is easily the best way to get the upper hand in this matchup. Um, okay. Well, he wants to do that. I'm not staying in. <laughs> like, what? What do you think this is? He goes for Draco, hoping I risk it. <laughs> like, no, dude. Yeah, and he also goes Hippo, which I figured he might, which is why I made that sort of play. Now if he slacks off, that's fine. I'm going to try to get in Kyurem before rocks, and then force another Ice Beam. So, good. We get the early KO on Pharaoh. He goes Mimikyu, which I'm going to get in Pex on. Did he just play off immediately? No, he goes Drill. I have a whole Crocodile, dude. Uh, uh I'm going to do it. I still have Mag at the end of the day. He might Earth Power, he still goes for Ice Beam, which I don't really understand. And this time, this is getting 2 it KO'd, so uh, give me that Hippo. Go Drill if you want, he actually goes Mimikyu. The play that covers both Hippo and this is Toxapex. What do you got for me, dude? Because uh, you're getting kind of destroyed right now, and uh, let's see what you can do about it. My Toxic isn't missing, and your Shadow Claw won't do it KO unless you crit twice in a row, which would be ridiculous, but it would it could happen. It is a high crit ratio move. Thing is, with that Hippo so low, Talon Flame can come in and revenge it anyway. Oh, wait, I don't have Gale Wings. Uh, that's different. Never mind. Just don't double crit a Shadow Claw, dude. Like, that would be so unlucky. <laughs> what are you thinking about? If I were him, I would switch out and go, like, back to Hippo, maybe, but... Or Kyurem. Hard Kyurem could force uh, something here, too, but... He played off chokes too many times. Like, he should have Earth-powered into Mag the second time around. Then again, that wouldn't have really done a whole lot for him, either. Yeah, I gotta keep Kirk around for the drill. In fact, Kirk probably just wins. Mag is at 90 because of that Ice Beam, which is cool. I don't mind that. 
What is he waiting for? Is he just gonna time out? Like... I don't think this battle is over at all. Just when Drill is alive, it's never over because he could crit Crocodile, flinch down Rotom, and then what do I do about it, right? I still lose to Drill. Well, he would need Rock Slide too, so it's probably over, but I don't want to count him out and then lose, so let's just be careful. It looks like he has no intent on picking though. Maybe I'm wrong, but if this is Sub, that could be interesting. Sub Mimikyu? I doubt it. I don't think I can lose to that either. I'll just Scald Spam. Actually, I'll Haze first, obviously. That would be the first thing to do. I guess he could SD up again and then go for the Shadow Clock crit at plus 4. That could be the winning maneuver. Depends on how much damage he's doing to a few other things, though. It looks like he's just gonna not click, though, because he's in such a bad position here that he doesn't want to play. Like... I don't, I don't really get it, but this is looking over. 10 seconds. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's clicking a move. Maybe he does, but... Or is this some tactic where you click at the last second to try to tilt me? Which is not going to work. Yeah, I'll be right back. Oh lord, I have another game right here. Didn't I literally face this team earlier? A Selgor, Double Bug, Azu. No, that one had a Porygon Z on it, but it's a very similar team. I don't remember if it's the same guy or not, but... Uh, same lead scenario, I'm leading off with this and clicking knockoff. If he final gambits, that's cool. I'm once again going for the Talon Flame Endgame. Gonna be a bit easier if he doesn't trick my Magirna with anything this time. I don't think anything can, right? But yeah, I need Talon Flame to uh, do some work. Does Adamant Talon Flame outspeed Timid Scarf Zone? I don't think so. Um, Magnazone hits like 260 or something, right? Timid. 240, 360, Talent Flame is at 351. Hmm. So this guy opted for spikes, it seems. I could have taunted and then gotten up rocks and probably prevented all of this mess, but it's fine. Just let him get up all of them. I think Talent Flame being immune to them is probably enough to just beat this guy anyway. I don't know, I don't want to get overconfident, but. Hmm, let's see, if he leads off with, I mean, not leads off with, if he goes a Rillaboom here, which is what I think he is going to do, I could stay in and die, but then, I mean, Crocodile doesn't do anything besides beat Magna Zone, which I can do anyway, but if I am able to pivot this into Zone, then I can throw off Nox later, which could be better for me. Thing is, knocking into, he was Volk now, this is going for Bug Buzz immediately, I guess, I have no idea, but I'm, I'm staying in. Sure, dude, why not? <laughs> Um, if you want to play like that, then what I'll do this turn is go... Dude, this thing actually just wins. I feel like I shouldn't risk it yet. Yeah, no point. I should get a bit more info on the Rillaboom. I don't want to actually make the Rillaboom Scarf, though. That would be kind of bad. I think the best thing to do... Honestly, it could just be going Talonflame and getting rid of all the hazards. Like, I, I know I got them up, but... I don't think I need them. I doubt he's staying in anyway. And I don't want to lose my Gale Wings just to this thing. That would be bad. He's going to go hard to zone here. I know that. Or hard Azu, I guess. But like... Why is this one so tricky? It's much trickier with Talon Flame. I don't think it is. I think I'm just overthinking it. Would he really be Scarf Zone? Though? Nobody runs Scarf Zone. They're all specs or like Air Balloon. Like, I don't think I've seen Scarf Zone since the DLC has come out, like... Maybe he is, though. I, I don't want to ignore the possibility. Okay, if he does break my Gale Wings here, I think I'm just gonna SD up, or maybe Brave Bird immediately after this. We'll see, but like, I don't think he's gonna risk Volcarona here. Yeah, he doesn't do it. So I break any possible sturdy- I guess- do I just bank on him not being Scarf? Like... Wait, why does that do nothing? It's minus two. Um, I do lose my Gale Wings, but like, nah, dude, it's it's not worth. Let's forget that. Let's go Yu. -Yu. Yeah, he goes for Thunderbolt. I have no idea what he is, but if he scarf and I lose my Talon Flame, I would be a bit sad about it. Now I can Volt out. Um, actually, I can just calc bad right there and find out what he is. I think he is scarf. Ah, that sucks. This is actually a game now because it's scarf. 
Unless it's a modest scarf, but that would be even weirder. Can I calc whether he's modest or not? What if he was, um... Timid Scarf. Could he do 21? So Timid Scarf could do 21 in a max roll, meaning Modest can definitely do 21 as well. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't got... What if I focus Blasted? Anyway. Um, I'm just gonna do this and go right for a... If he shows me that he's not Scarf, I have nothing to worry about, which is why I'm fine with this. I'm gonna go for Freeze Dry. He's not Scarf. I could have just won with Talonflame, dude. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, sure. Gonna keep that around because it still takes Grassy Glide. I'm playing this so badly, but at the same time, I think Talonflame is such a free win right here. It probably won't even matter. Okay, so we do hit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Talonflame can force a win. Despite uh, me kind of playing like trash, I'm not gonna lie. Like, There's uh, really not much excuses for how I've played this game so far. Not many excuses. I can still beat Azu because I have Rotom at full and I have Pex which can take plus six knock, I believe. The so worst case scenario, I can beat that. Um, I would love for Talonflame to just do it though. Like that would be the best case scenario, but in order for that to happen, I need to get Azu in range of Brave Bird, which he hasn't let me do yet. Like if I, if I can kill Azu with the Gale Wings boosted Brave Bird, then I think I win no matter what. You know what's crazy? If I just Flare Blitzed... No, I think I still made the correct play, because even though I could have taken the KO, losing Gale Wings would have been worse, right? Because then I could have actually put myself in a situation where Volcarona is a bigger threat. So, I'm pretty sure that not attacking was the better thing to do. I just should have maybe Focus Blasted instead of Volting out with Magirna for no reason, but... I don't know, this is looking pretty over to Talonflame. I hope this guy actually picks, though, because I don't want another guy to just time out, even though the game is basically over. You're actually not going to pick, dude, just because Talonflame has Gale Wings? Like, come on. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. My opponent has some pretty standard Dragapult Cinderace balance. I think that if I want to beat Clef, Talonflame can do that. Maybe Mag if it's not Cosmic Power, but if it is, that's a problem. Freeze Dry is so good right here, but Clef can stop that. We'll lead off with this. Obviously, this is good for me. I'm going to go right for for Flur Cannon. And if he goes out into Pex on the U-turn, then what I'll do is Volt out into mine. Yeah, he's going to U-turn for sure. I'm hoping he goes Hippo, so that way I can force it to recover, and as a result, get in Kiram. But, yeah, he does. Good. Because now I can get in Kiram, and he's basically forced to heal here. So I'm going to go this and see what is up. Like, how spidef is your Clefable? I'm going for Freeze Dry. Are you just Teleport? I just realized this is basically like a pre-DLC team. <laughs> he does not have a single Pokemon that's new, but I guess that's cool. I have, what, three? I think Crook, Mag, Talonflame, right? Goes hard Cinderace. I guess his Clef is not as bulky as I think it is, huh? Let's go Toxapex here. So I think his Dragapult is either Scarf or some sort of Hex variant, but I think probably Scarf. Out comes Clef, it is a magic guard. Let's go, Mag. On Thunderbolt. Chances are he has a flamethrower, but that's okay. Let's go right for Flare Cannon. Goes Pex this time. I could have vaulted. I didn't want to though. Hard Pex is actually the better play because it also covers Hippo. Yeah, no point in vaulting. And now what I can do is throw out a Scald of my own. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we both want this burn, but he's not Black Sludge, which I find interesting. Yeah, we both want this burn really badly, it's obvious. Okay, we both got out on the same turn, so I guess that's fair. Let me hit him with Toxic here in case he goes something that isn't Clef. Yeah, like Mandibuzz, for instance, and now what I can do is click Scald. Yeah, that's really good for me. Okay, so now here he would go... Who would he go to here? He was Pex. I'm gonna be able to hit that there. I'm gonna get in Mag this turn. On the Clef, and... I want to say Flurricanon. 
It's gonna be a long game. I can already tell that. He actually ends up burning me there, which is it's whatever. Let's go for Volt here. He's gonna heal, and then with Talent Flame, I mean with Toxic it's a bit low. What could I do here to take advantage of this? Flirt kind of did a lot, meaning this thing probably can't take two hits from Kirim. I think we'll go to Rotom and try to trick. And see how he defensively responds. If he goes, if he stays in here, that's great. Yeah, he goes to Dragapult though. I'm not Specs, he's now Scarf, which is fine. I'm gonna Volt and see what he wants to do about it. I need to get in Kirim more. That's what I'm not, that's what I'm failing to do right now. That's a problem. He opts to go for Shadow Ball, so he's Scarf Shadow Ball. I'm gonna get in Kirim and force my KO. Or either like hit Cinderace very hard, but I freeze it right here for sure. If I can get rid of Cinderace, this can win. He's locked in, right? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, so... Pff. My Rotom is Scarf, is that bad? Wait, no, I'm Specs now, right? What is he? Scarf, yeah, okay. So I'm Specs or Rotom. I'm having trouble keeping track, but I don't know why. Does he try to go Clef or does he pivot Cinderace again? Because I have him in kind of a tough situation. Clef can't take two. Cinderace is gonna be at 11 next time. He goes Pex, but Pex is gonna get destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> So then he goes Cinderace, but I just got so much damage on two mons that I need damage on. And then he goes for Pyra Ball. That's fine though. Yeah, he goes for a U-turn, because he knows he needs to keep this alive for Kirim, but it's the same thing. The more I get in Kirim, the better of a position I'm in. So he goes for Hex. He does have Hex, huh? In that case, I'm going to get this in. Use this chance to get up my rocks. Taunt this. Yeah, and then I think, is it worth knocking or going hard to Rotom? Hmm, I think I suck off Mag. Here I'm just gonna Flur Cannon, obviously. I gotta force the Kirim win, which I think it shouldn't be very hard at this point. With Pex solo, I can actually spam Ice Beam now, I think. It doesn't have to be Freeze Dry. Although, to be honest, I probably should still be clicking Freeze Dry. No, not necessarily. If Ice Beam 2 it kills Pex, I have no reason not to click that, right? Yeah, and I don't want this living here. That would be bad. Because these typically run max spadaf, and I don't want this thing defogging here. That would be pretty horrible. So we get rid of the Mon. Cinderace is probably boots. He might try to heal up his pecs here, but pecs is low. Best case, he was like hippo for no reason, but I don't know why he would do that. Another tool that's very good for me now is my hip, my crooks earthquake. That's going to be doing a lot of work. So I think it is it life Ford three attacks cleft. That's probably what that is. Okay, he's going to go to it here. He's going to click. Moonblast, I guess. Yeah, that's fine, though. Now he's gonna go for Thunderbolt. Yeah, so let's get in here. And I think this Earthquake is the best play, because it'll do enough to where Kirim can come in, and now that he's in range of Kirim, I think I have the upper hand again. Yeah, I click Freeze Dry for sure. There's no reason to do anything else. So now he goes to this. The best play to prevent Clef from recovering is Rotom. He goes right for the Hex. He actually clicked Hex, by the way. Could have won the game right there, but... Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do that right now. Now I click Freeze Dry. He's going to suck off somebody, then get this back in and click Draco. Yeah, it's gonna come down to maybe mind games. It's gonna be Pex. He has to go Dragapult. I go out on two Pex of my own. Goes for the Draco. Yep, good. Gets a crit on it. I don't know if I die to the next one. 
I do. Uh, that's really bad. Is it? It could be okay. Hmm. He does hit. I have to SD up. No, I don't. He hard switches out. Okay, that means he's gonna outspeed me now. See, I think it's over. I had to stay in against that thing earlier, and I didn't. If I was a roost here, I could win. But uh, now it should be his game. I need to dodge a Draco. He's already hit so many, but like... Yeah, I should have I should have called the Hex earlier, but to be fair, if he didn't crit my Pex, then I would have been able to recover it and force more damage. Just miss one, dude. Come on. <laughs> You've already hit so many. Nah, he can't miss a single one. Alright, we'll go ahead and end things off right there. Kinda sucks, but um, that's just how it goes sometimes. I'll see you guys next time. Later.